My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church, and I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is October the 31st. It's going to be a marvelous day here at Unity, and I know that you're going to want to come and be a part of it. We're going to begin with both of our worship services, 845 service and the 11 o'clock service will both be held once again here in the sanctuary. We're coming back inside with 845. Part of that is that this is a special service Sunday, as we will both mark Reformation Day, which is the day we remember our roots in the Protestant Reformation, as well as All Saints Sunday, usually the Sunday closest to November 1st, a day in which we remember and celebrate the lives of those we know and love who have passed from this life into life eternal. They are the saints who surround us in the heavenly throne room, and we together have opportunity to live out our lives as saints today. We're going to celebrate this particular service with a special musical service at both services, 845 and 11. Margaret Monroe, our director of music and the music ministry program, has been working on this special service to share with us as we sing with all the saints in glory. That's right, as a congregation, we are going to sing this Sunday. We have a hymn festival service. It's uh, surrounding seven different hymns that we'll sing together as the congregation, sprinkled in with a few anthems and special pieces from the choir as well. But we'll sing a few hymns that remind us and help us to mark Reformation Day. And then our hymns will move in ways that help us to celebrate all saints. It's going to be a marvelous service. Again, both worship services will be in this format, both 845 and 11 o'clock here in the sanctuary. We know that the 11 o'clock service will be live streamed, so you can certainly join us that way as well if you can't be with us here in the sanctuary. Because we're going to be doing congregational singing, like I said, over seven different hymns or portions of hymns that we'll sing as a congregation, we are asking that masks be required this week. That seems to be the safest way from all the information we can gather for us to sing together as the congregation. So with all of us together singing, we are going to require masks here in the sanctuary on Sunday. We're continuing to maintain every other pew for social distance. So wearing masks and social distance will allow us this Sunday to sing together. So come and be a part of this important and special service in our congregation and this exciting time as we'll sing significantly as a congregation for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. In addition to the special worship services, following each service we'll have a congregational meeting to hear a report from the nominating committee and to elect elders and deacons. You can find out more information including the names of those who will be nominated and some biographical information about them as well in case you might not recognize them um, on the church website. So look for that and be a part of this special Sunday for us as we have that congregational meeting as well. Looking ahead just a little bit, again, I just want you to mark your calendar. November the 14th is coming up quickly. That's going to be the Sunday that we rededicate the historic sanctuary and dedicate the courtyard, giving them to the glory of God for the wondrous new space that they will provide for us to do ministry and mission, fellowship and study together. Hope that you'll be a part of that special day as well. We are inviting guests from the community, those who've been involved in the restoration and construction project all along the way to be with us that day as well. My friends, God is doing amazing things. This is an important and wonderful Sunday, and we look forward to seeing you then.